All right, first step, you're gonna get a little heart. Make sure your name is on the back of your white paper. Get your heart and just trace it. Don't let the heart slip around. You know how it goes. You let that pencil rest against your tracer and then you're just gonna trace all the way. Ooh, look, it moved a little bit. All the way around like that. All right, perfect. Next step is we're gonna, out, we're gonna break up our spaces here into three sections. You get your ruler and then you just mark down from one edge all the way to the other side and you just kinda let your pencil go against. And then one more line, doesn't matter where I put it, we're just gonna break up our space here and one more all the way across. Perfect, now I have to outline these beautiful pencil markings with a black bold outline like we've been talking about with Keith Haring. All you do is, first you trace over the pencil marking, then you do another line kinda next to it, and then you color inside. Look at how smooth my lines are not making it too scrap, um, scribble scrabble, I'm not doing this, just a couple lines long all the way across the paper. I'm gonna continue this and then I'm gonna fast forward so you guys watch. All right guys, after you have your bold black outline, it's time to incorporate three different patterns in the heart, one, two, three, and then also we're gonna make some patterns in the background surrounding the heart. Um, going in with line and shape patterns, I'm gonna start with the diagonal thick line. What I did was I drew the two thin diagonal lines next to each other, and then I'm just gonna color inside. Notice my smooth um, lines and the way I'm coloring inside my diagonal line. I'm not trying to make it look all scribble scrabble. You don't wanna draw diagonal lines like that, that's not good. You draw two smooth diagonal lines next to each other, and then you go ahead and color inside of them. I'm gonna go ahead and All right, second pattern I decided to create was a uh, polka dot pattern, as like some people like to say. I just call it a circle pattern. Um, I drew some really nice big circles here, and what I started to do was just color inside the circles nice and neat, not scribble scrabbling all over the place, staying within the lines. And then what I did was chose a really light color to create some contrast surrounding the circles, kind of like what you see here. All right, let's speed it up so you can watch me. We're looking good. I finished my polka dot circle pattern. <clears throat> Got my diagonal line pattern. Now let's start uh, start creating these little flower patterns that Brito loves. All you do is you get your color. Usually you want to get a darker color, um, and then you go ahead and make a little half circle, starting with that, and then kind of little flower petals like that. You can also make another flower, making sure your flowers don't um, overlap. You want them to kind of be spread apart, and then you just keep on going. Again. guys we got our beautiful patterns here love the flowers just remember when you draw your shapes first and you're gonna color the background surrounding it make sure you outline that shape with the color you're gonna color the background okay now it's time for us to go ahead and start developing our patterns and uh, surrounding the heart one two Right, guys we're finished all you need are three patterns in the heart three different patterns in the background and you'll be done make sure your lines are lines are smooth and make sure you don't scribble scrabble and keep your white space to a minimum